In this video, we will show how a user can download, execute, and customize any Jupyter Notebook generated using BioGPs on their local computer. A step-by-step -step tutorial on rerunning notebooks is available on the BioGPs website at the slash Docker endpoint, as shown here. First of all, you are required to have installed Docker on your local computer. To install Docker, you can visit the link to the Docker website provided in the first step of the tutorial. Second, the user must generate a notebook from BioGPs and identify its unique ID, which is a nine character long alphanumeric string displayed on the right of its URL. Once you have identified the notebook you wish to rerun, you can launch the BioGPs Docker container, which will automatically download the notebook and launch a Jupyter server containing all the necessary software packages to rerun the full analysis on your local computer. If you're using a Mac or Linux-based system, open a new window in your terminal. Windows users can follow the same instructions by opening the Docker Quick Start Terminal. First, we recommend entering the docker pull myanlab slash notebooks command. This will pull the latest version of the Docker container with the most updated version of the BioGPs RNA-seq data analysis library. The process might take several minutes. And in our case, the latest version of the container has already been downloaded. After this is complete, you can enter the following command in your Docker terminal. The IT flag indicates Docker to run the container in interactive mode, which will allow you to check on the status of your Jupyter server. The dash p8888 colon 8888 indicates the port mapping between the Docker container and your local host. If port 8888 on your local machine is already allocated, you can change it by modifying the first four digits on the left of the colon. The dash v desktop colon slash notebooks tells Docker to mount the notebook's directory on your desktop. This will allow you to access your notebook on the local machine. You can change your path if you wish to download notebooks in any other directory. After launching the command, the Docker container will ask you to specify the unique identifier of the notebook you wish to download. So in this case, we can copy the UID of the notebook we identified. Go back to the terminal and paste it, and followed by enter. During this process, the container is downloading the specified notebook and launches an interactive Jupyter server on your local computer. And in our case, we can access it at the URL shown here, localhost port 8888. The browser now gives us access to a running Jupyter server containing the notebook we wish to analyze. By clicking on the notebook's name, we can access the notebook itself and run all the code cells contained within the notebook. You can then add your own code to customize your own analysis, and then save any changes on your local file system. If you wish to access the notebook again in the future, you can launch the same Docker container without providing any notebook identifier. This way, the container will launch a Jupyter server without downloading any new notebook.